Jamie Moyer had his fifth shot at win number 250, and Ryan Howard did all he could to make it happen, but it was a former teammate who would force Moyer to wait another day. And there is Jamie. A win would make him the 44th and oldest pitcher to win his 250th game. Top one, two out. Wes Helms to short, and his former teammate Jimmy Rollins bobbles, recovers, then unloads to get the final out of the inning. Bottom one, Raul Banez took a two-out walk. He's on first, and I see pride. I see power. I see Ryan Howard. He delivers his 11th home run of the season, a two-run blast on a fastball, and it makes it 2-0 Philly. Top four after two walks. There are two on with nobody out, and Wes Helms makes Moyer pay for it. So he homers off his former teammate, a three-run shot. Helms first of the year. Marlins up 3-2. Chris Volstead in trouble in the fourth. He's 1-1, one one, a 2-1-4 career ERA against Philly. Gets Carlos Ruiz with runners on the corners, and then Jamie Moyer to get out of trouble. Bottom six, your leadoff batter is Ryan Howard. The fastball didn't work. The changeup doesn't work either. His 18th multi-homer game is 22nd home run of his career against the Marlins. For three Marlins, top seven, two out, Helms again. Delivers an RBI single to bring home Jeremy Armida. He had three hits, four knocked in, a 5-3 ball game. Matt Lindstrom on in the ninth. He blew a save against Philly in April. Not the case in this one. Bottom nine, he gets Matt Stairs at the plate and Shane Victorino caught stealing at second base on a good throw from Ronnie Paulino. Now with two outs, Carlos Ruiz, it is not nice to stare. Lindstrom picks up his ninth save. Florida wins the ball game 5-3. So with the loss, Jamie Moyer falls to a career 12-2 record against the Marlins. Wes Helms, four RBIs, the most since 2004 when he was with Milwaukee as the win snaps Florida's five-game losing streak to the Phils.